All right, first impression review of the Golden Globe. I, a lot of surprises and a lot of, I get snub, a lot of things that I would like to talk about. It's basically a first impression review-ish type of thing, a first reaction, some of the highlights, uh, some things that I liked. First, right off the bat, Ricky Gervais just came just with this monologue, just roasting everybody, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I think when it comes to these award shows, there are, there are always so many sides of things that's that kind of is it's kind of confusing you can't take one side because you also see the other side of things and you kind of agree with both a little bit but at the same time you don't agree with anything so i feel like <clears throat> with this it felt like a breath of fresh air do i 100 percent agree with his approach i don't think so but i think it's way better than what seth meyer did i think uh, a few years ago i love the monologue where he tackles the the, the thing about kevin hart uh last year uh when oscar's fired <laughs> Uh, Kevin Hart for some offensive tweets that he made uh, a decade ago which is just ridiculous uh, a lot of things about these quote unquote offensive jokes that he said that we're all gonna die soon they're just jokes just stop whining about it and Epstein, jo Epstein jokes is in there pedophile movies and you know leaving Neverland and all that uh, R. Kelly shit there's a joke with the memorial how and he's saying how not diverse the, memor the memorial list is and then <clears throat> he said he's not going to let that happen again. I thought it was tastefully done. Uh, he also tackles the idea of uh, streaming versus cinema when it comes to The Irishman and all those, um, I guess, a lot, a lot of Netflix this year. Net Netflix movies, uh, Marriage Story, Dolomite, uh, Irishman, all of that. <clears throat> he takes sides with uh, Martin Scorsese, kind of pokes fun of him at the same time. But, you know, he, he takes it with a grain of, grain of salt. He also makes fun of Hollywood, how they're not making original movies anymore they're making re remakes sequels he also says this uh ridiculously long show it's a three hour show with a ton of commercial which everybody is already talking about it ever since the kevin hart con controversy um how re how how long are you gonna sh are you gonna stretch these award shows and all these commercials and he made that comparison with all uh, with all these three three hours you can binge an entire season on netflix that's how long the show is i love the cast jokes where the uh james corden joke a lot of cast jokes i like tay sway was in there for some like i i, I didn't expect taylor swift to be in uh, the award so i guess cool there's also a joke about show showing a short clip of irishman it's 88 minutes long or some shit like that i thought it was really good and i like how he ended the entire monologue mon jesus monologue with saying how if you're winning an award get the award thank whoever you want to thank and fuck off i like that and you know i since when did the all these award show becomes a platform for all these i guess I don't like the word, but quote unquote celebrities and all these, um, I guess, artists, that's a better way to put it, t to say whatever they have to say politically. I don't like where this is going, but I guess this is where the climate is going right now. But at the same time, what I'm saying is there's the other side of things is that <clears throat> when all these artists are using their platform to reach out to people politically from the other standpoint is that, OK, you have a voice and you don't use it, then it all becomes a gimmick. So I guess you can not it's it's it's. It's unsolvable. So first off, I really liked uh, Tom Hanks and Ellen DeGeneres, especially Tom Hanks' speech. I really like how emotional he got. He said he blamed it on the cold. And I really like Charlize Theron's uh, reaction when Tom Hanks was uh, naming Charlize on the list. I really love that part. Really emotional. This is the, probably the one part that I was completely into the show. I'm going to skip a lot of TVs and whatnot because I don't watch a lot of shows. I haven't watched a lot of shows this year. I try my best, but I will give some comments here and there. Barry didn't get anything. Unbelievable didn't get anything. Chernobyl that got a lot of things, which uh, I'm pretty excited for. I really like Chernobyl. Um, Dead to Me, Christina Applegate didn't get it. Michelle Williams winning over Kaylin Deaver and Merritt Weaver, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, Chernobyl won the limited series. Um, I was rooting for Chernobyl, definitely, and it's really predictable too. Like Chernobyl is, I think, probably the best show of the year, technically. I don't know. I haven't watched a lot of shows. I've seen at least. Best original song, Into the Unknown, got snubbed. I'm Gonna Love Me Again Won took that, which caught me by surprise because every year Disney come with come in with a song and they always win. Into the Unknown seems like it's almost guaranteed to win, but Rocketman got that one. Uh, best original score is the one that I'm super happy about. Hilder got it for Joker, which don't get me wrong, I really love uh, Alexander Desplat 
I think that's how you pronounce his name uh, for Little Women, uh, Randy Newman and the Marriage Story. So even though there's a lot of Toy Story in- implemented here and there, I haven't watched 1917 just to, you know just for the record. I haven't seen 1917 and Two Two Popes yet. From now on, and Motherless Bo- Brooklyn. I as much as I love Daniel Pemberton and his work, I feel like Joker is well deserved for sure. I remember saying uh, I'm not sure about the score back when I put out the video about Joker and after that I've been listening to the Joker's score for a lot of times and it just got into me it, it tells such a good story I love the string and I just love how to sound well deserved Hilder <clears throat> best motion picture foreign language uh, Parasite got that no surprise there I, a portrait of a lady on fire I haven't seen that the farewell I'm not I don't think they're ever gonna get it they didn't stand a chance against Parasite Especially with all the buzz going on, sorry about my voice. <clears throat> Last Minute of Rebels, I haven't watched it yet. Hopefully, I can catch all the all those I haven't watched yet uh, this month. Pain and Glory, uh, surprise, he got a nomination. Um, well deserved too, but uh, I feel like Parasite got it. Everyone is happy. Let's move on. Best Motion Picture Animated, Missing Link got Best Animated Feature, which caught me by a hell of surprise. I was going, I was, I was almost certain that Toy Story Four is gonna get it. If not Frozen 2. But holy shit, Missing Link coming with the win. Now I feel like technically, was Missing Link an animated film? I guess it's kind of in the same category, right? I think Missing Link was a stop motion film, right? I feel like on a technicality standpoint, Toy Story, if you're looking for animation, Toy Story 4 was probably the most, I guess, achieving film out of all of these. But Missing Link, I really like how um, it, it... it won over all these movies like Frozen 2 and How to Train a Dragon and Lion King. The Lion King, no one's rooting for it anyway. So um, I'm, I'm surprised, but at the same time, I don't mind. Uh, it's a breath of fresh air. Uh, moving on to best screenplay, Quinn Tarantino got it. Looking at all those uh, nominees, I think it's well deserved. I haven't watched The Two Popes. Um, once upon a time, I, wa- I rewatched it already. I liked it a lot more. Quinn Tarantino, nice film, got the, got the screenplay. Uh, well deserved best director Sam Mendes won for 1917 I haven't watched 1917 yet but at the same time I I think all of the nominees could have won except for Todd Phillips I'm not saying that Joker is an inferior film comparing to all these others I'm not saying that it's just that when you have when you go against these legends right when you're going against uh, Martin Scorsese Quentin Tarantino uh, what Bong Joon-ho and Sam Mendes all these legends you do you you, you probably don't stand a chance. Do I like? Did I like Joker and Todd's direction? I I really did. Um, until I see 1917, I will make a. I I guess I will form a full opinion on this one. But I was kind of looking for uh Bong Joon Ho to win it or Martin Scorsese. Uh, best performance by performance uh, supporting role in motion picture. Brad Pitt got that, which surprised me by far i was looking for tom hanks and joe pesci which just by the way brad pitt was fantastic once upon a time in hollywood um that that was a surprise for me best performance by an actress in a supporting role laura laura dern got that no surprise there i don't think anyone is up against um her in this category i'm pretty sure so uh, well deserved best performance by an actor in a motion picture musical or comedy that I mean, Golden Below is kind of weird how musical and comedy are in the same category, and somehow there's a category for best pictures and whatnot. Terry Edgerton got it, no surprise there. I thought Leo's gonna get it, but Terry Edgerton has been like, getting a lot of buzz after, ever since Rocket Man dropped, so there's no really no surprise there. Best performance by an actress in a musical and a comedy, Aquafina took it, which caught me by surprise. I was, I thought Ana de Armas was gonna get it, um, Kate Blanchett. Definitely not going to get it. Beanie, I don't think she's going to get it. I haven't watched Late Night, so I don't know about Emma. So I was kind of looking for, oh, Ana de, Mar- de Armas is probably going to get it. Aquafina coming with the win. That was a pleasant surprise. Um, I really love the farewell, if you don't know. Uh, best performance by an actor in a motion picture drama. Joaquin Phoenix got it for Joker. My God, Adam Driver didn't get it. Um, Jonathan Price, I haven't watched The Two Popes. Antonio Banderas and uh, Christian Bale, I don't think they're going to get it. I'm, I, I was specifically looking for Adam and Joaquin, and I guess they decided to go with Joaquin. Uh, I just didn't expect it as much because considering Joker is a comic book film and they don't really like those type of movies. Uh, Adam Driver didn't get it. I sh- I'm sure everybody's going to freak out on Twitter or online. Best performance by an actress in a motion picture. This is the biggest surprise for me this year, I think, probably. 
uh, in a motion picture drama. Renee Zellweger is that how you, Zellweger uh, Zellweger? I think that's how you pronounce her name. Renee got it for Judy, which if you have been f- watching all my must watches videos, I'm not a biggest fan of her performance in Judy. Um, I, I feel I think I said that there was some. I felt like there was some sort of miscommunication between uh, the director and the actors that somehow Judy is portrayed as this character that is this person isn't that isn't really likable. I'm sorry, I'm mumbling. It just I feel like it's the wrong approach and it's just a different it's just a weird direction to go um, for the Judy character. I was looking for Scarlett. I, I was so certain that Scarlett's gonna get it. And holy shit, Marriage Story got snuffed for Adam Driver and uh scarlet at the same time and laura turn got it for supporting actress i'm like huh okay best motion picture musical or comedy once upon a time got uh once upon a time in hollywood got that no surprise there uh, i really like all these movies um i think there's it's pretty much predetermined uh tarantino's gonna get that one uh best motion picture drama 1917 got that one i haven't watched it yet can't wait when it comes out i think i'm watching that next week um all the two popes i'm watching that next week uh, hopefully I can watch the late night and uh, all the all those movies. Before the award, I was kind of looking for The Irishman, The Marriage Story to get the Best Motion Picture Drama Award. Uh, and then 1917 got it. So I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens when I see it. Um, it just I was just so surprised that Marriage Story got so little. Other th- I think it only got Laura, Laura Dern, right, for Best Supporting Role. I think that's it. And then Joker winning the Best Actor. That was a big surprise for me. The Irishman didn't get anything either. And I feel like the best, uh, the biggest winner, winner is 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I guess that's it. Uh, I really love how, I just, I just love how Hilder won for Best Original Score. I loved it. Um, Parasite didn't get in, uh, the, the Best Director, I think, was it? Yeah, uh, Parasite didn't get Best Director and Best Screenplay. They're all looking for this, I guess, safe choice out of all these there are just some surprises in there that are like missing link for example so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens at the oscars uh it's really interesting how it's gonna shift uh, the the i guess poll and, and all the buzz going into the oscars um especially with joaquin win- winning over adam and best actor so that's gonna be really interesting to see let we'll, we'll see if hilder is gonna get into the best original score in the oscar i wish so um I think that's it. Yeah, uh, good show. Uh, Marriage Story didn't get anything. 